Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money anyway. Yeah, and it's sort of silver. Kinda. <laughs> There's something wrong. Okay, cray cray. Here's your three dollars and four cents. Here, will this do? Your tree fitty. Hi, and welcome back to Frenemies, the game. When we last left off, we were headed Apparently into here, and Sophia are in here to talk to Carly and Sophia about why Carly decided to be such a skank. Apparently. Hey, Alex, you need to talk Carly down. Or let her I jump. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am Judas. Oh, wait, She's she actually does out. have a rope around her neck. Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. <sighs> Who in the blue fuck is that? <laughs> what? Carly. As opposed to the fuck red fuck. That dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the heart. I mean, honestly, I'm 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 not hearing anything inaccurate. So what exactly do you want me Sophia to tell her? Is one of my best friends, but it infuriates. There's something wrong with his face. He's there's some he's clutching a small bag. Hi. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good I have reaction. No desire to be meddling with a picture of a boat sailing on what appears to be an underground river. There are like sticks? The I think it's meant to be the sticks. And, Oof. you know, not the Creepy. band. There's something wrong with his face. It's like my eyes can't focus on him. He's clutching a small bag. The G is up. The yeah. news is out. We finally found him. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> so a that. weird looking man in a weird looking hat. His, his eyes weird follow eyes me follow around me around the, the weird room. I have no desire to be meddling with pictures. Talk to Carly. Please. <sighs> Carly, what the fuck happened? Fine. Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I think those are her I words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. He promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly, tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? Uh, let's see, we got a party hat. My lighter's kind of silver. Nah. All right. Do I have any silver I don't in there? Carry change. It's Carly. She's a window. I'd freeze. Okie I dokie. shouldn't leave yet. Do you have any silver? Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? On the seat opposite. Oh, oh great. Excuse hey, me, can pardon me. You understand me? I need that bag. Can I have it? Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? Hmm. Sacrifice sacrificial lighter? Hey, how about a trade? This lighter for the bag? <laughs> that sounded like a yes. Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money anyway. Yeah, and it's sort of silver. Kinda. <laughs> There's something wrong. Okay, cray cray. Here's your three dollars and four cents. Here, will this do? Your tree fitty. Silver. My silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. 
Gavin wanted you, and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. Did he kill if himself only after? He could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if. Almost as if. He killed we himself? Only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Whoa. Achievement unlock! Salvation of Judas! Okay. Welcome back, Power! Well, you're no fucking use, are you? <laughs> There's something. A pick there are people. Alright, well, that was great. Glad we had this talk. Uh, good luck with your pyro problem. Oh! Our tiny dancer's back. Alex! Hey, I missed you! Hi! I keep hearing weird noises on this train. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. I want my daddy. Aww. My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. I collect dolls. Oh. Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Oh, what's your daddy's name? My daddy's called Robert Crow. Called Rob. So it's not his oh, name, but he's called God. Robert Crow. I thought so. Do you know my daddy? Yeah, yeah. he's a bit of a freak. Yeah, I. Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This. this train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're gonna see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Uh-uh. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from daddy to prove it. A music uh, box. Huh. I sh A small girl dress. I can take you to- Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Alright, let's go get the freaking doll that we're not supposed to go touch. I'm sure Rob will be totally fine with this. So, yep, totally called it on that being Rob's daughter. <sighs> By the way, sweetie, honey, I turned your dad into a pirate. Uh-huh. Be great. So you know. I don't want Rob to get this back. I, I. Don't. I wanted to be able to like take any of them, but I guess not. It's. A, I think it has my hair, my actual hair. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I did not think that's what that was, but all right. I just figured he styled it similar but yeah never mind that is great <laughs> great and we're gonna have to give this to this little girl here don't mind the actual hair all right hey Lydia I have something for you from your dad. Oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy. You really have met him. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just... Ooh. Hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? Ooh. Let's have a look. It's... It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving... It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. Hmm. 
Got a party hat. I'll just we get a scoop with it. Scoop some of this dirt away. Huh? It's my knife. That's not really your knife per se. That that it? I sh I have. All right. Well, I guess we're done here. Welcome back, knife. <laughs> Huh. Ooh. Is that music coming from the bar? A janky piano. Is finally back? Because I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. She's kind of just rolling with the punches here. Going with it. Music changes if you I'm go through the door. Home. Floyd the barman. Time for a drink. By the way, I was watching uh, The Shining uh, the other evening. Actually, last night, uh, when I was trying to go to sleep, and Floyd is indeed the hey. name of the barman. Hey, Floyd? Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... But... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, God, Gavin. To see your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? I mean, we're in a it relationship. It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. Why are we in a relationship you with Wolverine? So bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. You Fine. don't call me Jen. babe. Straight. It must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak, and we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulcher forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Kat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And Ooh. what about Lang? Is there more to this? I, I like another game? Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Bitch. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. I feel like fighting. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up. You were so hurtful, so hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. <phone rings> Rob? Oh! Gavin, explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbor, your friend with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove so we could give you some time without going too far so we could wait it out make his triumphant return after your friends had left everything would have gone back to the way it was he would have continued defiling you I could hear you both, you know, through the walls hear the terrible things he did to you how he forced you to moan in pleasure to pretend to be enjoying it how you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's 
fucked. That's so, so fucked. I think actually I he means you were. Huh? Victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I'm not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Hmm? Tip for tat. Let's exchange stories. Um, let's see. <laughs> Shit. Uh, didn't abandon her on the train. Guessing she ran away from home and got on a train. Mm, let's go yes. with Excess Wife. Yeah. She was coming to visit me. My dear, sweet Lydia. Uh, but she wasn't on the train. Rain, maybe? I doubt she forgot. She wasn't someone's... there. We searched the train frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. Okay. They found her body the next day? No. I'm gonna say, based on the way he acts, they never Nothing. found her. Nothing. Eventually, they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere, dead, just waiting to be found, that I couldn't save her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that, that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. To oh dear. Them, to knock them out. To paralyze them. A few cuts here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. Good it's fucking Christ! How compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. Makes you really and rethink the guy at CVS. He wasn't <laughs> dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin, this isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone call stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. You are <laughs> fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on in here, kids? That Lang fella's trying to get some sleep. You're all screaming loud enough to wake the dead. I don't think this author understands the, wor the meaning of screaming. <laughs> Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Hi. That's see how it is. We need fair good time on this one, lassie. <laughs> it's like, good job going through Floyd, that plot. <laughs> a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Uh-huh. Achievement unlocked. Lydia's story. <laughs> guess that means I guessed correctly. Or you kind of made it yourself, based on what you said. Eh. Alright, so I've got a steak knife, a balloon, a cigarette pack, a ticket, and a purse. So, seems like this is the best way. Quick, let's put Floyd out of his misery. Nah. <laughs> 
All right, fine. Let's not put Floyd out of his misery. Don. What? Don't reckon I know, lass. Get rid of that one. I would. Gavin. I'm just the barman, Alex. All I can do is watch and listen. I totally read. I'm just the Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. You want whiskey? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Gavin, my ex-boyfriend. Apparently, Rob's held him hostage for months. I can't even comprehend what he's done to him. When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. My neighbor, Rob. I have to say, I knew something was fu funky about Rob, but I thought he was just creepy. And the whole Gavin thing, I kind of picked up the slut vibe. <laughs> That's the uh, scientific term, by the way. The don't trust this bitch, she'll steal your man slut vibe. Uh, <laughs> off of, um, not Sophia, the other one. I forgot her name. Uh, I ain't got time to be learning the names of people that don't matter. Uh, <laughs> but I did not suspect that the whole thing about the bad breakup with Gavin was because of Rob holding him motherfucking hostage. Gotta say, did not see that one coming. Good on you, game. Um, well, this is working out great. <laughs> Would you like to dance? Floyd. Donald. I don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell. No. Doing. Ooh. Ooh. So Grum or whatever is Cassell? Oh no, Cassell like the author. Okay. All right. No, that is him. Okay. Oh, that's right. Grub is Cassell, the author of uh, Charnel. I can't breathe again. Inhaler. Help me. This isn't how it ends. Did I get a bad ending? <sighs> Achievement unlocked. The X. Hi. I'm sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight. Like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. Deathly comas! So, did she, like, speed to try and make her train and ended up dying? Oh, well, maybe not. Hey, There's my hair's not black going. anymore. Oh. I can barely see the town. Oh, this well, is that's cat. Gonna make today's work even more fun. God damn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with that. Ooh. Birdie, no. It's <laughs> a bit dramatic. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below if there's more to this. I'd like to know what happens in Kat's story. But maybe they uh, never came back to it. Maybe they never told us. Uh, let me know what you think happened to our protagonist. Based on the way it all went down, I'm guessing they never made it to the train. Never actually got on. She never made it to her island that she wanted to. Died on the way or what have you. 
as far as we know, uh, Robert Crowe could have possibly gotten her when she was trying to leave. Because he had her ticket, right? Mm, maybe? Alright. Bye, bye, bye! Press your hold X to open. Ah!